If you look closely through the windows of a swimming pool, you can sometimes see people changing into their speedos and whatnot. But that's that's no, really inappropriate. No, and that's no. not the kind of change that we're oh, here no. to film. We're here to, oh. to learn how the central business district is changing, Mr. Climbing, Mr. Well, the reinvesting the council is rebuilding and investing in things like this, such as Ponds Forge, nice uh, sports areas. You've got things like the uh, English Institute of Sport further down the Don Valley. Uh, attracts investment into the city centre, attracts people into the city centre, spending money. Uh, very positive for the city, uh, provides good urban regeneration. I mean, Can someone you like the... you, you're sporty, so yeah, you'd be attracted yeah, to re-urbanise yeah. and move back to the city, yeah, wouldn't you? Yeah, attract people to come and live in Park Hill Flats, come and live back in the city centre, spend some money, you know, they'll buy a cup of tea, a cup of coffee after they've been swimming, uh, you know, after they've been on the slide. Now the gentrification of the inner city has led to some real improvement in the quality of life, the quality of housing and the quality of the environment. But before gentrification takes place, the inner city has got a lot of derelicts and run-down places, a lot of brownfield sites, so former uh, industrial or in this case residential buildings. Now look at uh, the poor quality of this housing here, not going to be attractive for people wanting to live here. And, until it's invested in and gentrified. I mean, it looks really like a kind of place you don't want to hang around. This inner city area looks like it's at high risk of crime, if you oh, ask me. Oh, what? It's what? That, it's that ball broke off, Italian. Is that an iPhone? iPhone, hey, I'm having that. Yeah. <laughs> so, another big change in Sheffield has been the shift away from uh, manufacturing industry. Okay, nowadays, due to globalization, we've got big multinational corporation banks such as uh, Santander. Uh, people working no longer in primary industry nowadays, it's more in secondary, tertiary industry. You've got places like uh, Lloyds Bank, you've got very skilled workers, uh, very successful, generally very uh, very handsome businessmen. Well, maybe not handsome, but you know. Here we are in the central business district. Have you found a good place for our pie shop, well, Mr. Webb? I thought so, sir, and then I realised there was the, uh, the, the donut effect going on. That means there's been a decentralisation, there's been a movement for shops like this one here, this is closed down, this used to be a, a TSP bank. It's now moved to places such as uh, Meadow Hall out of town retail centres because the land is much, much cheaper. Uh, there's a lot more space, it can spread out. If you think how big Meadow Hall is compared to town, huge amounts of space, much cheaper land, so it's, it make more profit for businesses. Uh, plus, because of e-commerce and people going online to do their shopping, their banking, they're no longer coming into town to, to buy things, and therefore, if I was to open a pie shop, I'd get much less uh, footfall in places like this. So, yeah, the donut effect. Can you show me uh, how the donut effect works by eating that whole donut mm. in one mouthful, Mr. Uh, I can certainly try. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> so here we are in the inner city, the inner city flats, we traditionally associate with the inner city, don't we? Flats, terraced housing and industry, but it's undergoing some changes and I think those changes could benefit our pie shop. So Mr. Webb, what's this block of flats and accommodation well, behind yeah, well, you? These are, these are student flats, so we've had some studentification. These are students probably studying at the University of Sheffield. We're living here, so they're changing the, the social and cultural makeup of this area of, uh, of Sheffield. You've got a, a cultural mix now, you'll have a lot of international students. Uh, I bet like, they would like pies, people would, from other yeah, countries, yeah, they, they like the pies, don't they? Absolutely. There's a very young student, they're starting young at university these days, Mr Webb. Absolutely. And you've got a social mix now, a lot more young people. Uh, behind you, sir, is a, is a health club. Uh, go on, let's go and see it. I can't do fast forwards, we'll have to run, sir. All go right. on, go on, go on, sir, here we go. So this is studentification, remember, large numbers of young people attracted by the universities That's of Sheffield. One, yeah. A health club. Is that a good place for a pie shop, sir? Well, it is, yeah. People are going to come out and burn off some calories. They'll be desperate for something to eat, won't they? Absolutely. And that shows the businesses that are growing up. So studentification oh, yeah. is fueling businesses. I mean, yeah, I we're... don't know if people as old as me are allowed in there. Let's see. Probably not, but you can see this place is packed full of thousands of students and they're building more blocks, sir. Run to the left, sir. Run to the left. Look at this. So they're they're building are. even more of these student accommodation blocks. So Absolutely. there's going to be a mass, there's a massive positive multiplier, sir. Yeah, the more the more students they attract, uh, the more pe the more areas they need for them to live, and then the more shops that open around the corner. We've got little supermarkets. We've got tram stops, so they're involved in the in the local transport schemes. Um, so yeah, it's having a really good positive effect on this part of the city. 
And just over here, sir, as well, yeah. there's a whole housing estate of this new affordable housing because yeah. people need low rent accommodation to live in. So here you've got a mixture of apartments and smaller houses where the local people can finally access housing that they can afford. All part of the redevelopment of the inner city, affordable housing. Uh, did you just try and eat that pie, no, Mr. No, no, no. Remember, that's our first pie we're going to sell in our shop and all these student accommodation. Fantastic.